Hi, we are the Morpheus team from the University of Padua in Italy. We are a group of engineering students who are developing a fully functional rover, able to perform tasks similar to the ones required for the future unmanned Mars explorations. Since the amount of expertise required to develop a complex system such a rover is great, our team is composed from people with different backgrounds, coming from almost all the engineering branches, aerospace and mechanical engineering, electronic engineering, information engineering, control engineering. We see this different experience not as an issue, but as an added value that allows us to fulfill all the objectives of this challenge. The Morpheus rover can be controlled remotely by a human operator. The rover will be able to drive on harsh terrains, collect rocks and samples of surface soil, and to perform simple mountainous tasks. The rover has six wheels and it can drive through a skid steering configuration. It mounts a stereoscopic vision system and other sensors that make it able to drive also in an autonomous mode. The telecommunication system will involve a non-interactional antenna. The rover also features a robotic arm with three swappable manipulators and a sample extraction drill. The rover has been equipped with an anthropomorphic robotic arm. It has been designed to be versatile, light and economical. Devised to be adaptable, it comes with interchangeable end effectors. One is a grab, which can be used to collect samples, for example stones or loose soil. It can also seize an object's handle. The second end effector adds three degrees of freedom, making a total of six. With a different actuator configuration, the reach of the arm is greatly extended, allowing the arm to reach up to a height of 150 centimeters. The goal of the robotic arm controller is to provide a transparent interface which allows the user to move the end effector with a joystick. The main idea is to let the final user to freely move the end effector in a three-dimensional environment without any particular constraints. To do this, we computed the kinematics configuration of the robotic arm. We designed a decentralized control, consisting of three different PED controllers, which is able to drive each link of the arm independently. Morpheus is equipped with a drill subsystem, dedicated to the extraction and the collection of deep soil samples. The drill subsystem consists in a smaller auger, moved by two electric motors. A 22 watt engine supplies the necessary torque, while a 5 watt motor allows the drill to extend to reach the maximum depth of drilling and subsequently retract. The drill can reach a depth of 20 cm in less than 3 minutes, collecting a sample of 228 cubic centimeters. The localization software is based on a simple but effective algorithm that merges the data collected by a GPS sensor and an IMU sensor. This fusion is practically obtained through a common filter that implements fuzzy logic techniques in order to decide which measurements are reliable and which are not. Obviously, the sensor measurements are affected by a bias error and they have to be cleaned before being used by the software. However, the algorithm has been shown to improve considerably the estimates of the position of the vehicle, allowing the use of straightforward navigation techniques for the guidance of the rover. Morpheus is equipped with a stereo vision system consisting of two cameras displaced horizontally from one another. In this way, we obtain two different views on a scene in a manner similar to human binocular vision. We have implemented a real-time visual odometry algorithm that estimates the rover position and orientation examining the changes that motion induces on the images of the vehicle on board cameras. At each step, the algorithm matches the key points between the left image and the right one, triangulates these features and performs the motion estimation through a 3D to 2D procedure. <laughs>